Let's do a sleep dive. Hey! Hell. Hello! Welcome back to What's Safe Word? Hi, ma'am. Hi, Mr. Christopher. And today, we're going to talk about a sling tie. Do you know what that is? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, last week, we were baking a cake because that's ad friendly, and we didn't have clothes on, and we also had rope. But we figured, well, why don't we practice this one tie on here because it's one of our favorite ties to actually use in the bedroom, I mean kitchen. This week, however, I'm not gonna be fooled like I was last week. This week, the pup is going to be on bottom. Right, pup? So, <laughs> I love this tie because it puts a boy right where you need them. Hey, he's going. <laughs> and they can hold the position for a really long time. <laughs> so not to throw too much information at you or sling too much information at you. Oh my God. But this tie you only need two pieces of 15 foot rope. And for the ease of viewing, we have one blue and one red. And the great thing is there's only one knot you need to know. Yeah, the single column tie. A slingle column tie. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, get, get down there. So you'll need to put your bad puppy on his back. <laughs> Go, no puns, or I'll gag you. Go. <laughs> Perfect, puppy. Now, once you got them on their back, have them throw their legs in the air, uncoil your rope, finding the bite right here in the middle. Oh, once you have their legs in the air, the first step in this tie is to wrap around the single column, which is why it's called a single column tie, three times. So my, wrap, my rope is lying flat, and I'm gonna do something right here, which I call gift wrap, where you turn your ropes 90 degrees like that. You take your shorter piece, or the bite, underneath everything, and just do a simple square knot right there. And that's gonna leave you a little tiny loop right there. That's gonna come in handy later. But this will not tighten on them and constrict blood flow around their legs. And we're gonna do, put your leg down, put your other leg up. Good puppy, so good. Find the bite of your second rope and coil it. All right, second leg. Do the exact same tie. I'm gonna go around three times. So my bite is about right here. I have about that much rope. I'm gonna do the gift wrap, 90 degrees, away from each other, just like that. The bite goes under, quick square knot. Again, just for, make sure everything's tightened up. And now we have a loop behind each knee like that. So now that you have both legs in the single column tie, this is where we make the sling. So you wanna take your first rope, go around their neck, and then under their elbow. This is very important because you don't want to hurt their neck. Find that little loop that we had before. Put the end of your rope there and cinch it Ooh. tight pulling their leg all the way up and just square knot it, just like that. So one leg is up, take the second leg, this rope, put behind this neck, under this arm, under the armpit, find your loop on this side, cinch with, with gusto, and another square knot. So, now you see why this is my favorite tie. You can keep their hands free, or you can tie them side by side. Personally, I like my nipples played with, so I like him. <laughs> <laughs> but this is also a pretty comfortable tie for the bottom, and it makes it so I don't have to strain to get my legs up and keep them in the air. Very comfy. Whether you're doing the tie or being tied up, though, always have a safe word, and today's safe word is? Um, Shanghai. Because, Dubai. <laughs> No, the Shanghai Sling. Oh. Come on, it's so obvious, so obvious. So, don't forget to leave a comment down below letting us know what you guys want to see Christopher tie up next time. 
Leave a like down below if you want it to be me. And we'll talk to you guys next time on What's the Safe Word. Dubai. <laughs> Dubai. Dubai. And <laughs> no. No. Bad puppy. Why? Okay, I'm just leaving you here. Bye. You mean Dubai? Don't forget to leave a like down below. The more likes, the more times we'll tie up Christopher. Is this ASMR ending doing something for you? Hi. <laughs>